let's make some Halloween stuff together. For this session, let's explore trick or treat games. Whether or not you're gonna be able to go out and trick or treat this year, uh, one of the things that I always like to think about when I think about Halloween is candy. And so I thought maybe we could play um, or come up with a game together where we could be uh, using some 3D sculpture techniques, which I'll show you a few ways. But remember, any way that you want to try and make um, together is up to you. You can just watch or you can make along at the same time. Um, but what this will allow you to do is come up with these games so that even if you can't go out, uh, even if you're wearing a costume and you are staying uh, inside and you aren't going out, we'll still be able to have some fun on Halloween. So for this session, I'm asking if you have any paper, and it can be any paper. It could be paper that you took from the recycling bin. It could be ripped paper. It could have paper. It could have things on the on the back of it. it could be uh, colored paper. Any kind of paper that you can find is just great. Remember, everything that we're trying out today um, isn't necessarily for keeps. We're not going to keep it for a long time, so it doesn't have to be uh, in perfect condition. The other thing is, do you have any mark making tools? And by mark making tools, that could be pencil crayons, that could be pencils, that could be markers, whatever you have available to make a mark on a page, then that's a mark making tool. Okay, so what do I mean by trick or treat games? Well, let's think about what you're doing. Sorry about that. That's my my cat beater. Um, so what am I talking about when I'm talking about trick or treat games? What I'm talking about are um, the idea that when you're going up to somebody's house and you're knocking on the door and you say trick or treat, um, the game is supposed to be that really you're asking for a treat. You want, you want a treat. Um, but we say trick or treat because Halloween is a, um, an, uh, an activity or a holiday or a celebration that happens at night. We wear our costumes and we go outside. We put, um, we put a candle inside of our carved pumpkin. Um, it's something that happens in the dark and sometimes the dark can be a little bit frightening. Sometimes the dark can be a place where you can go and uh, work in secret. Um, maybe you can play a fun trick on somebody. Um, and so, why do we have to have, why do we have to go to people's doors? Why do we have to go knock on a door to be able to play the game of trick or treat? And so what I thought we could do is we could start by making a couple of things that were either tricks or treats. And by things, I mean pieces of paper. And I do love to rip my paper. I'm gonna just rip it up into smaller pieces of paper just to start with so we can get these different ideas for these different tricks and these different treats. There we go. And if you only have one piece of paper and you don't want to rip it up, you can just keep it on one piece of paper. Um, if you only have small pieces of paper, you can write smaller. I'm going to write big so you can see uh, what I have written down here because um, it's a little bit uh, easier if I write in marker and I write real big. So what do I mean by trick or treat? You can write down whatever you want on these pieces of paper. You don't have to follow me. I'm gonna give you a few examples, but all of your tricks and treats are gonna be completely different. Um, and that's the fun thing about exploring is we're all gonna come up with different ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a treat because everybody likes treats. Um, what's a treat? Well, maybe eat something sweet. That's usually a treat, right? If you can eat something sweet, and if you're allowed to eat something sweet, or your diet lets you eat something sweet, then that can be a real treat. And so I'm gonna put that in my treat pile. What's another kind of treat? Uh, well, if somebody wants one, you could say, you could ask if uh, someone wants a hug. 
you always want to make sure we ask because just because we like hugs or just because somebody else likes hugs uh, doesn't mean that they want a hug right now. But if they do want something sweet right now and if they do want a hug, then that can be a real treat. That can be something that they enjoy. But something else that we have, something else that's a treat. Maybe another treat is sing a song together. Oops. And so if you have a song that you and whoever you're playing this game with uh, likes, if you, if you listen to music, if you can hear music, uh, that might be a treat. Maybe another treat could be play a card game. So these are just a few things that I think of as treats. You might not like any of these things. The person that you are going to play the game with might not like any of these things. So your idea of what a treat is going to be is going to be something a little bit different. Generally, it's fun to pick something that you actually could happen or that you have permission to, uh, to do. So maybe a treat would be eat an entire three-tiered cake, but if you have to go make a three-tiered cake, or buy a three-tiered cake, or stomach, <laughs> right? You wouldn't have too much sugar. Eat all that. That might not be a treat, or that might not be possible for one for uh, some people. And so your treats are going to be something that um, something that you like, or something that somebody else would like that you know. Okay. So now I'm going to do some tricks. Okay. Trick. I'm going to go. Close your eyes and try to find me. So if you use your eyes uh, to see, maybe you could play a, a game of hide and seek. Only the trick is, is that they've got to keep their eyes closed the whole time. And then for this one, you probably want to make some rules in advance, only keep it one rule, or one room, or maybe you can only take a couple of steps and maybe you'll only play for two minutes. Um, so it's fun for everybody, but you could try and be uh, tricky. Maybe um, when their hand goes out, you can move a little bit. Maybe they have to listen to you giggle as you go along, or maybe they'll feel you moving through the floor. Um, and so that's, that's one way. That's, that's one trick. How about another one? Trick. I like the idea of tricks being about hiding things. So I'm gonna go uh, try to find the thing I hid. And so for that one, before you start playing the game, Maybe um, you take some, take somebody's uh, t-shirt from a drawer and you hide it in another drawer. Or maybe it's um, a book. And so again, the thing with, the thing with tricks and the things with these games is you want to try and do something that's fun and playful that somebody else will, will like, um, but you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're coming up with your tricks. And that's the same thing with the treat, right? The, your idea of a trick and somebody else's idea of a trick is going to be different than my idea of a trick. Okay, I'm going to come up with one more trick. Uh, oh, here's one. Um, uh, drink this uh, lemon juice. Um, actually, you know what? Not, not, not lemon juice. It's okay. Remember, I'm, I'm, I, I have all this paper and you have this paper too. And you can come up with an idea that doesn't work at the beginning, right? If you're working in pencil, you could start the idea and you could start over again. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I still like the lemon juice, but I think I want to go uh, trick, drink, whoops. <laughs> I spelled that wrong here. I'm going to have my key, K really far over here. Drink this lemonade. Ha 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 ha. 
paw. And so maybe um, I made a glass of water and I put some lemon in, um, but I didn't put any sugar. And so maybe it's really, really sour. And so they have to take a sip of the lemonade, the, the pretend lemonade you made, and it's going to be really, really sour. So all these things are kind of fun. They're not going to they're not going to really hurt anybody's feelings if they play with them. Um, and you and you know your friends and your family and your classmates. And the other thing about this game is, is that people can choose. Even if you're going to, um, to somebody's house and you knock on the door and you say trick or treat, if somebody offers you some candy to throw in your bag and you don't want that candy, you're allowed to say no. And even if somebody comes back with some candy and then you decide, nope, you don't want to, you're allowed to, to leave. Um, just because you you came and you knocked on the door or just because they gave you candy doesn't mean that you have to stay around or stick around for anything else, right? So it's all up to you to listen to um, the adults that are around you and listen to your own body when you're playing um, trick or treat. And you know, you'll know what's right in your stomach. So by using our communication, we've come up with some different tricks and we've come up with some different treats. So when I'm talking about candy, what does this have to do with candy? Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these and pretend that they're the something sweet inside the candy. And how do you get to candy? Usually it's in a wrapper, right? Usually it's in a wrapper. So think about when you have unwrapped candy in the past. What does the package usually look like? You can do whatever you want. You could make up your own, uh, excuse me, brand. So uh, you could put like a label here and then whatever your name is, you could put that on here. I'm going to do that for this one. I'm going to go K's Special Candy. And so it's got the writing on it. But then I'm going to maybe put some lines over here and then I'm going to color it in. So you're going to make up your own kind of candy label. Maybe this one also has some red lines over here. Whatever you want. You could just color the whole page one color. You could take colored paper. You could take some plastic wrap. You could take some uh, pattern paper. You could take some paper that somebody has already written on and keep writing on it so that it's nothing but writing. Oh, I like that idea. I'm going to do that for one of them. I'm going to do one more with just the writing on it before um, we wrap up our candy treat. And so this one I said there was writing. So I'm going to pretend like somebody wrote a shopping list. On this one, remember, I got it out of the recycling bin. We're going to pretend I got it out of the recycling bin. It says, uh, to buy, I'm going to go milk. Uh, what else do you, uh, maybe butter. Oh, maybe they're making pancakes. Um, and maybe some paper towel. Oops, paper towel. All right, so I grabbed this out of the recycling bin, and I'm going to make it into a um, a candy wrapper now. That's okay. I'm just going to keep writing that word over and over again that I see on the page. Milk. 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 Keep going. Butter. Butter. So this is my shopping, my shopping list candy brand. Keep going. What else? Uh, paper. Paper, pencil, that's broke at the end. Paper, and one more. Towel, towel, towel. Oh, there's the word to buy up there as well. I'm gonna do one more. Maybe pink, there you go. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. I'm going to draw over top of it because this is just my fun wrapper. You know, I'm going to use the marker as well. Milk. I could also come up with some funny words in here. I could go puppet. Bat. Maybe 
some Halloween words. Candy, rainbow, maybe put the alphabet all over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. There you go. So now it's my letter paper, right? My candy wrapper. And that was just as if I would taken something out of the um, the bin out of my recycling bin that had it. Maybe if it had printer paper on it. Um, I could color in all the letters that were there, right? So this is just for fun. This is just for make-believe so it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, check it out. The marker even on this side. That looks cool where the marker went through on the other side. So maybe that side is my wrapper. I'm going to pick this side because I like the colors there, but why not? Why couldn't this be the wrapper? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our candy so this was, this was one of my tricks, right? I folded it up and I'm gonna put it in the middle, just like I had unwrapped some candy. And that's about where it's gonna go and it fits okay. All right, so now that I know that it fits, how are we going to package up the candy? Well, one of the ways we could do it is we could roll it up. But you can do it any way you can think of. How would you like to roll your candy? How do you wanna package it up? Okay, so it's in the middle there. And now all I'm gonna do is gonna twist whoop, the outside edges. There you go. Right? Now, I have a piece of candy, right? All right, let's do another one over here. Okay, for this one, because it's already textured like this, I think I'm gonna crumple up the paper. Because sometimes, right, when you see candy wrappers, they've got those crinkles in the paper. If you crinkle up your paper, how does the paper feel after you do it? What's different between a paper that you don't crinkle versus one that you do? Try it out. Okay, so I have my crinkly paper and I'm gonna take another one of my treats, one of my candy, my, my game candy, fold it up in the center. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing again where I'm gonna roll it up and then twist the outside edge. There we go. Okay, two pieces of candy. All right, that was, that's enough of that, that kind. What's another, what's another way that candy comes packaged? Um, well, sometimes, oh, I can think of one. All right, can you guess? what I'm making. And if you don't want to guess and you just want to keep making candy or coming up with uh, different things, go for it. But can you guess what I'm going to try and make now for my candy wrapper just by watching? Right? And your candy wrapper is going to look completely different. Even if you're following along, you're trying to make the similar kind of candy wrapper as me, yours is still going to look a little different because yours has different paper. Your hands are a different size. Maybe you um, you don't make as much as me, so or like uh, make as many things as me, so maybe you're going a little slower, and that's all okay, right? So now I'm going to put, these, put this all together. Oh, I'm going to wrap up one of my one of my treats, the candy, right? In the middle of my, my treat here. 
you know what, I think I'm going to color something on here just to make it a little bit fun. Have you guessed? Have you guessed what kind of candy I'm making? Candy inside. Close it back up again. I think I'm gonna fold the sides as well so it doesn't pop out of the sides. There we go. Then we take paper I made here. <laughs> I think I have to make that hole a little bigger. There we go. There we go, <laughs> right? What kind of candy does that look like? You know what, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna color in the stick down here just so it looks more like, there you go. So that it has a different, um, different contrast to the paper. There you go. All right, so I made a lollipop candy. I made two twist candies. You know what, you could do a twist candy that doesn't just have the outside edges. They could just have one at the top. I'm gonna to do one of those. But you know what, this time I'm gonna do it with some construction paper. Ooh, and I think I wanna color this one in again. So this one, I like that it's got the green on it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bunch of bats on the outside. Let's see, head. Kind of like a Batman. <laughs> there you go. So I'm going to color a few bats. What about you? What are you putting on yours? Maybe I won't color all of mine in right now. I I've got a couple more days before Halloween, and so I can do it this week as I keep making more. And what you can do is, if you wanted to, you could actually spend the whole week with your classmates or with your friends or with family or with whoever you're staying with, and you could put a bowl out and you could just collect candy throughout the week. Get the candy, right, your, your sculptures of candy and then when you're ready to all play together, then what you can do is you can pull out uh, different pieces each and then read what's going on inside, right? And even if you don't do everything that's inside, sometimes it can just be fun, right? Just like when you go at somebody's door and you're not sure what kind of candy they're going to give you, even if you're not gonna eat it all, even if you're gonna trade it with somebody else. And this is our made up game. So what happens? Maybe you wanna make up some rules for trading candy, right? It's completely up to you. This is this is so big. I think I'm going to make it into two wrappers. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did over here for the scrunch because any excuse to crumple up paper is good. I love crumpling up paper. All right. And I said we could just do one twist this time, right? So I'm going to take another one of my treats. Roll it up. And you know what? You can crumple up the, the, uh, the candy paper too, right? Maybe make it more round. Maybe the candy isn't flat. Maybe the candy is more round. There you go, like a gumdrop, right? Somebody will still be able to unroll that afterwards and then read it, eat something sweet, right? There we go. There's my, there's my gumball. I'm gonna put it in the center there. I'm gonna gather it all up. And then I'm just gonna twist the top. And there we go. Now I have a candy that just has one twist, right? So then you can go and get a bowl. You put all your candies in the bowl. As I said, you could spend the week 
collecting different candies, different ideas. And you don't have to put tricks or treats. They could be happy things that you notice during the week or messages, sweet messages, right? If this is kind of like candy, what if you put a compliment, something nice about someone, just something, something nice that you want somebody to feel? Why not? There's no reason why the things that you put inside have to be tricks um, or treats. They could just be nice messages or they could be memories or they could be all of your favorite things. And then maybe you could guess when you open the candy, who, who made what candy, right? That could be fun. And there we go. So we got our bowl full of candy that you can pick from. And so that's just one trick or treat game that you could play using 3D sculpture. What does your candy look like? What are you gonna put inside?